Jesus, in those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. The man in charge, Caesar Augustus, wanted to know how many people he was in charge of. Caesar wanted to know how many people would be paying him taxes. Every man had to go with his family to his hometown to be counted. Joseph's family was from Bethlehem, so he traveled with Mary from Nazareth, where they lived, to Bethlehem. Mary was pregnant when they started the journey. They didn't have any cars or planes. All they had was, of course, a donkey and their own two feet. All right, so today we are going to talk about how to layer a mantle. If you're interested in how to make it like, woof, like really poofed out there. So the first thing is, I'm going to show you with the lights off because it's easier to see the detail. So behind, well, the very first thing I do before I create my mantle is I get a vision. Very important. So I go to um, Pinterest and I decide what I want. And what I really was trying to focus on was pulling in a color that's not so Christmassy, right? I have a lot of this gold rust color in my house, which seems to be more of a fall. So I wanted to pull that in with this green. I knew that I wanted to do that because I wanted to use what I had. So when on Pinterest found these pictures, I was like, that's it. So the key was these magnolias that I noticed. And I was like, okay, magnolia is gonna come home with me where I find them. I already have magnolia reefs. So what I did is I put up my original garland. So with the lights off again, there is just a basic garland that's up. It's very plain. It's just right here. And there's two, because I have a large mantle. So one comes up to here. That's how I get that long part. And then the other one attaches there and comes down. So there, I just have a basic garland. After that, I went and I found this magnolia uh, garland. And you can see the magnolia garland ran all the way down. It was a pretty long piece. Got it from Michaels. And again, that one ended here. Second one, ooh, the sun is coming out. I'm so happy. Uh, came right through here and it went down. So what I did on this one is I kind of played with the leaves. Sometimes I turned the leaves a little bit if they were the, if they had a beautiful green, and then I turned them to get more of that rust color. So that's exactly what I did is I played with it, and boom, that pulled in that rust color up here, and that's what I wanted to do. Just a decorator's mind. Colors are very important. So are textures. Then I went and I found these little things, which I absolutely love because they will take me into spring and summer. I can do a lot with these. They almost look like a lily pad. Um, and I found them in the summer section at Michael's. And again, I liked them because they really mimicked this color beautifully. 
So I stuck them in and I got them on big time sale because they were summer, people weren't buying them. So I bought one, two, I think I only bought three. Yep, three. And I stuck them right across the top. So it gives you a little, uh, little dimension, a little texture, a little pattern, because the pattern's different. Now the fun part was these leaves right here. And these are really long leaves. You can see he's rolled up. I don't know if I can take this out without breaking it. He's rolled up and he is a really long, almost like a, I want to say, I don't want to, it's definitely maybe like a palm branch. Yes, really long. And I rolled him. So I definitely can have fun with him this summer. And I rolled him up to get just this cool ribbon dimension. So you'll see one here. You can see one rolled here. Look how cute. Uh, you will see another one. I think there's a no I only bought I know I bought three. Oh, and there's a fourth one of this one too right down here I know I have another one so oh here he is right here look how pretty that color is next to the cream okay if you follow me I go to this place called Farmer John's which I absolutely love and I bought these sticks on sale $6.99 40% off not bad and they're beautiful I loved them they have like a fur Look at that beautiful fur. And then this is so pretty. I just, I love them. I'll reuse these all the time. So I bought those, stuck them in. And then this is a stick, which on the stick, three of these things come. And I like it because they're wire, so you can bend them. So I bend one far to the back, one to the front, and one over. And I have one here one here, one here, see the dimension up and back. So things that you can bring forward and back really matter. Now, here's the trick. All right, behind, so all the way to the back, you are going to see some really cool pieces of just greenery. These are, I have tubs of greenery downstairs. What I did is I just pushed them up in the back and that is giving you a layered effect. That's making that look really big and I just have that kind of jammed up in there and it's hanging so it looks like it's just part of it but do you see how it really gives it a texture and it defines it do you see those if you can kind of see now the magnolias brought a little bit of um, fashion to the eye and those green things gave a little emphasis I love emphasis in a room to the green and then my cream. So everything here is very cream and green. And so it really mimics everything in my house. And it's very simple. I don't have the traditional red colors. And that is how I come about on doing. Um, and of course, whatever I do here, I mimic up on my reef. So I just took some magnolia sprays and stuck them in my basic reef took one of my flowers and one of those cream things and made a matching reef, which I do every year. So now let's go ahead and turn it on. Show you all this with the lights on because you want to see the layers. And there it is on. This is my finished product. And I did take the tree and I made the tree very similar to it. How did I do that? I just bought the sticks right here and stuffed those in my tree. Everything else I already had. I always have my staples. I did buy these this year. These are new, but everything else I had and I just bought those and I absolutely love those. I'll probably stick those in every year and add maybe a new fun bulb to it. I would like to get some blingy bulbs like rhinestone bulbs on sale. They were a little bit expensive. I did buy one for my collection this year. I'll show you that and that's it so again I'm not a big like I said a typical uh, collection of bulbs that is found on my kids trees and we do have those so that's it um, I hope you enjoyed that I hope it helped you if you have any questions let me know I would love to help you walk through it I know your stuff is art probably already done but for next year I would love to help you um, you know get a vision and just help help you figure out what to buy and I can do this. I can't even tell you how many 
phone calls I did remote and virtually and in the house just to do mantles. So I do mantles a lot. That is one thing that I do is I can kind of put a vision together, go get a plain reef and really make mantles come alive. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, for the keto cauliflower break, you want to get, I have three heads, chopped them all up like this really good, and then I'm going to put them in a pan and boil them until they're really soft and tender. And then I'm going to transfer it all into a baking pan and just kind of mash it up. Not too much. Some people like them more whole. Um, I just mash mine up and kind of lay them all out. And then I'll mix up my ingredients, which is mayo, sour cream, a little butter, bacon, chives, and cheese. And I put that all over the top. Here's your ingredients. Stick it in the oven and I bake it and it is yummy. You can do cream cheese instead of sour cream. You can play around with that. Um, a lot of people don't use mayo. I like mayo in mine, but that is it. I will now, leave the recipe here we are making just minestrone soup minus pasta this. and potatoes. So really it's, it's got again, celery in it. It's got it's uh, zucchini, soup, green beans, carrots, so no potatoes and no uh, a tomato paste, a coconut milk, and steak. There's no corn. And there's that is it. So that kind of saves on the calories. Celery. Super, super yummy. I make and a huge pot of this so it lasts us all week too much tomatoes long, again or pretty much most sugar. of the week. And then, and then I'll make some milk. almond bread. And then I, I used uh, top sirloin. Right of course, oh, I seared it on both right sides there. with onions and onion salt yeah, and garlic. It. So it really brings the flavoring to this soup. Now the next soup that I did for meal prep today was cream of keto cauliflower. Over here, That's right here. I'll leave the recipe. Very, very, very easy. I take a big bag of broccoli that I get from Costco, um, some creamer, and a little bit of cream cheese, and onions and garlic, and chicken stock. Put it all in there, and it makes it nice and thick and yummy, and my kids love it, so that is available for them. I this stuff I put in to thicken it. I can never say it. Exithin gum. But this is, but this is better than flour. It's so better for you. And it makes the soup like thicker. So much, much better. Like that. so and that is, that is an amazing then, soup. Like That's my go-to all week. So there goes the bake that's in there. Bake. So this that's going to be done pretty soon. I made some steak bites out of this too. So tomorrow night we can have steak bites and cauliflower. Of course we'll have that soup. And then the minestrone soup. And so I am set for fillers the for the week since everybody's soup, home. Steak. This will be something Everybody nice that everybody can kind of munch on, and it is boiling. healthy. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring, it will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year, I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Santa's coming to visit No, he